Well, Egypt's Islamist dominated constitutional assembly is expected to vote today on a draft constitution. Thousands have been protesting what critics describe as a power grab by President Mohamed Morsi. Now, this is a live look at Tahrir Square, where you can see there tents of people camping in the square. Morsi says he took sweeping powers last week to ensure stability while the new constitution is written. An advisor to Mr Morsi says a referendum could be held on the new constitution in 15 days and the president's special powers would expire if the constitution is approved. His move to issue a decree giving himself wide-ranging powers triggered criticism that Mohamed Morsi is becoming a dictator. There has been serious violence with protesters camped out in Tahrir Square clashing with police. This has been a tumultuous week for Egypt. President Morsi's decree, which forbade any judicial challenge to his rulings, sparked protests in Cairo's Tahrir Square, which have now continued for seven days. There have also been attacks on the offices of his political party, the Muslim Brotherhood, across the country. And away from the crowds, Egypt's political and judicial class is also at war. Critics have accused the Assembly, charged with drafting a new constitution, of being intense on cementing some form of Islam into the country's laws. That body's decision to rush out a draft of the new constitution on Thursday could be a form of preemptive action, ahead of an expected constitutional court ruling on Sunday, which may dissolve the Assembly itself. And as if that wasn't enough, the country's appeal court judges have refused to sit, saying that the President is usurping democracy. It would be a mistake, though, to assume that President Mercy is without support. In Alexandria, thousands of people rallied to show their backing for him. This demonstration is evidence that the people support the decisions of President Morsi, and this filthy minority have revealed themselves for who they are, and we, God willing, will not let them be until they are with their friends in prison where Mubarak and members of his regime are being held. <laughs> The Muslim Brotherhood says the striking judiciary is packed with people appointed by the former president, Osni Mubarak, with a vested interest in stalling reform. Mr. Mercy has promised to surrender his new powers once the constitution has been ratified, which could be imminent. Egypt's political turmoil, however, may have some way to run.